Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX ended flat today, marginally gaining 2.17 points or 0.04 percent, and settled at 5,485 points. Market turnover was 6.62 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is an increase of 6.43 percent compared to the previous trading day. Orion Infusion, Kohinoor Chemicals and Square Pharmaceuticals from the pharmaceutical sector, Heidelberg Cement Bangladesh from the cement sector, and British American Tobacco and Tafika Foods and Lovello Ice Cream from the food and allied sector mainly pulled the market up today. On the other hand, Khan Brothers PP Woven Bag Industries from the industrial sector, Prime Bank and Al Araf Islami Bank from the banking sector, and Migna Petroleum from the fuel and power sector mainly dragged the market down today, keeping it flat. In terms of sector-wise return, the industrial sector posted the highest gain of 3.58%, while the cement sector registered the second highest gain of 0.95%. On the other hand, the mutual fund sector posted the highest loss of 1.01% today. Seven pharmaceuticals and six textile companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Information Services Network, Techno Drugs and Far East Knitting and Dyeing Industries registered the highest gain while Lind Bangladesh, Salvo Chemical Industry and Beach Hatchery were the top losers today. Techno Drugs registered as one of the gainers today as they made their trading debut recently. The price of Lind Bangladesh decreased today as they traded in the spot market today. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Eastern Bank Global Heavy Chemicals and Information Services Network increased significantly today compared to the average average trading volume of the last three months. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above-mentioned stocks. Top two news today. Apparel exporters are experiencing a 25 to 40 percent decline in orders due to ongoing energy crisis, rising business costs and shipment delays, causing factories to operate below capacity. Production costs have surged by 20 to 33 percent, while global buyers are offering prices up to 20 percent lower, prompting many exporters to forego taking new orders. Additionally, reduced cash incentives have impacted exporters' competitiveness amid persistent gas and electricity shortages. The Bangladesh Bank is expected to keep the repo rate the same in its upcoming monetary policy for the first half of fiscal year 2024 to 2025, as it believes inflation has been stable in recent months. Additionally, the mid-rate for the crawling peg exchange rate might stay unchanged at 117 Bangladeshi takas. However, the new monetary policy will be finalized at the central bank's board meeting on July 16th. That's all for today. Thank you.